Now a safety alert after three men were injured during a lightning strike while they were working on a roof of a new home. It happened yesterday afternoon in a subdivision off Clydesdale Drive West in Mandarin. This was the scene. All three men were taken to a hospital. We've learned one is still in critical condition while the other two are stable. Nationwide, four people have died this month from lightning. On average, 10 people die each year in the month of July. And as Channel 4's Vic Michalucci reminds us, Florida is the lightning strike capital. Witnesses say two of the men were working on the roof right there when the lightning struck and the blast was so strong that one of the men fell off the roof. That's when a lot of people that were in the area ran up to help him. At least one person said he appeared dead. So they brought him in here to the garage area and several people started doing CPR to try to revive him. Firefighters rushed all three men to the hospital. Two critical, this man in the best condition. Today, the construction site was empty. A friend who only spoke Spanish told our photojournalist he was by their side at the hospital. It's a reminder of how dangerous lightning can be, and we wanted to learn more. So we visited the JEA Science Center at Mosh. Perfect. Educator Alec Warren showed us how lightning finds easy targets. If you're grounded, you get these shocks. And these are small, but they're essentially the same thing as lightning. This machine gives off a million volts. He says the roofers were likely hit with a strike that's 50 to 100 million volts. And that can easily be deadly. The biggest risk is that you're touching the ground because you're touching the building itself and you're a tall object. Uh, it's sort of like a lightning rod standing on top uh, of a tall building. He says if you can see lightning or even hear thunder, it's too close. And you need to get to a safe place right away. So you're talking about millions and millions of volts of electricity. Just so much power. And if you're caught in a storm, experts say the best thing you can do is head inside, stay away from windows and doors if at all possible. If you can't do that, your car is also a generally safe alternative. The metal frame and the rubber tires will help keep you protected. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.